What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So the positive feedback I've been getting from the 2019 series has been great. You guys seem to be loving the content and I love going down in the comment section now and getting ideas for videos because I want to make videos that you guys want to watch. So for today's video, I got a comment from a YouTuber by the name of Intrigue Gaming who commented, what's up next? Dreamcast, I hope. Well, yeah, I feel like that's a great idea in tree gaming. So in today's video, we're going to check out the 10 most expensive U.S. release Dreamcast games of 2019. Now, the rules still apply from all the previous videos, so U.S. releases only, no imports. Another rule, no crazy variants. So like that Sonic Adventure that's like real rare, but same as the original version, no variants. Also, no new copies, nothing that's going to kind of disrupt the numbers we're going to look at. So guys, let's check out and see what the 10 most expensive Dreamcast games are of 2019. Coming in at number 10, we have Resident Evil 2. Now, when I learned that the Resident Evil series had other games on other systems, you know, other than like the GameCube and the Wii, I was kind of blown away. I had no idea that Resident Evil actually released games on the Dreamcast. I had no idea. And then when I saw what the price was going for for the Dreamcast version, I was kind of blown away. Now, it's no surprise that the Dreamcast version was probably not as popular as, let's say, the PlayStation 1 version, the version I remember playing through as a child. As a matter of fact, I remember a buddy of mine, James, I played as Claire, and I think he played as Leon uh, when we first got the game, and we called each other, and I remember that weekend we went over to each other's house, and we were playing the game together, and I remember he got through the game quicker than I did. But I think that the new release of the newest Resident Evil game that came out of the release of 2 kind of pushed this game up in value. And this is definitely one of the most expensive U.S. release Dreamcast games. Coming in at a price of $80, it's number 10 on the most expensive Dreamcast games of 2019. At number 9, we have Power Stone 2. Now, the original Power Stone is a game that I actually owned as a child. I loved that game. And it's the first instance, at least the original Power Stone, that I can remember as a kid noticing great arcade games coming to home consoles. As a matter of fact, the Sega Dreamcast is a spitting image of the Sega Naomi hardware that they actually used in the arcade systems at that time. And if you look at the number of peripherals, peripherals, you guys know what I'm talking about, the peripherals for the system, um, you know, it's nothing like the Wii or anything like that. But what they do is they made peripherals for the system and for the games at that time to pretty much give you the ultimate at-home arcade experience even more so than the Neo Geo. And this is a great game, even though I'm not into the whole Smash Brothers tournament fighting game. This one is a lot of fun. It's more of an arcade experience, in my opinion. But coming in at a price of $90, it is the ninth most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. At number eight, we have a little game called Bang.io. Now, this game does look pretty cool, and when I found out about this game, which really wasn't that long ago, maybe a few years ago, I was shocked that a game like this actually came out on the Dreamcast. And this is a treasure game, so those of you that are familiar with treasure, maybe you've played Gunstar Heroes on the Genesis, or maybe you've played the infamous Gradius V on the PS2, treasure is known for very breathtaking graphics, at least for the time. You know, real pretty graphics, uh, really good sound, awesome gameplay, controls that are really tight. Their games just play well overall. And I actually picked up Bangayo Spirits on the DS, which is a version of Bangayo that I believe has a lot shorter levels. There's a level creator in the DS version that I don't know if it's present in the Dreamcast version. Uh, if you do own the Dreamcast version and know if it has a level creator, please let me know in the comments down below because I am kind of curious. But this is a game that I have always wanted to find at a decent price, and I haven't done so yet. But coming in at a price of $95, yes, $95 for this one, it is the eighth most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. At number seven, we have Capcom's classic Gigawing. Now, Sega, you know, back in the late 90s and early 2000s, they made a lot of great arcade games that ran on the Sega Naomi hardware. Now, because of that and because the Dreamcast shares similar specs, a lot of those games, some of those games, I should say, I wish a lot more of, but some of those games did get console ports here in the U.S. and over in Japan. I feel like Japan always gets more of that, unfortunately for us, but it is easy to play other region games on a U.S. console via the Utopia boot disk. 
Now, I will say that Giga Wing is not my favorite Capcom shooter. I do believe there's others that are better, uh, just because the controls and the hit detection in this game is not what I prefer. And it's probably because I play so many games made by Cave. But coming in at a price of $100 even, yes, Giga Wing cost $100 now. Crazy, right? And it's the seventh most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. At number six, we have Gunbird 2. Now, this is a game that deserves to be on this list. I'll even go as far as to say that Gunbird 2 is the best shooter on the Dreamcast, in my opinion. If you have a shooter you like better than this, let me know in the comment section down below. So, if you want to play Gunbird 2 and you don't own a Dreamcast, now, if you have a smartphone, I know you can play it on Android because I actually have it on my phone. I've actually done a video on it. Maybe an iOS, I'm not sure, but they do have Gunbird 2 for mobile devices. And the same company did Strikers 1945, so they did uh, some Psycho games. I know Cave did some exclusives for iOS that we never got on Android, and that kind of sucks. But there's options for the Switch now. There's the Psycho Collection Volume 1 and 2, and I forget which version of that Gunbird 2 is on. But they did in Japan. They made a physical for the Switch for Gunbird 2. Uh, just everything about this game is great. It's got a slight story with fun characters that's good. The character sprites are great. The hit detection is good. The weapons are good. Overall, just a great game. I mean, I can't say enough great things about this game. But with a great game comes a great price tag because coming in at a price of $110. God, this game's been expensive for a while, but it is starting to creep up there now. Anyway, it's the sixth most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. At number five, we have a game called Project Justice. Now, this is a 2D fighting game, looks like anyway. I've never played this game. Um, but it looks like a combo-heavy game, kind of like a, if a Marvel vs. Capcom game had a baby with a Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tekkenichi game. Looks like Project Justice would be the kind of game that would come out. Um, you know, a retro store up the street for me has a copy of this, and I've seen it there. I just never wanted to look at it, but I am kind of interested now. I wonder how cheap I can get it off them. But... Anyway, coming in at a price of $115, Project Justice is the fifth most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. At number four, we have JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, I've heard people talking about this game and saying how good it is, and I'll be honest with you, I've never played this game a day in my life. Like I said, I've heard of it. I mean, hell, I've even seen it at retro stores. As a matter of fact, and just like Project Justice, there's a retro store up the street from me that has a copy of this game. And now that I see how rare and expensive it is, and not just that, how fun it looks, I'm kind of interested to see how cheap they'll sell it to me for. But if it's super expensive there, you know, maybe I'll just make my own repro, because it is a Dreamcast after all. Anyway, coming in at a price of $140 for this fighting game. Good God almighty, $140. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is the fourth most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. At number three, we have a game called Ill Bleed, and this appears to be a survival horror game. And, you know, we have Resident Evil 2 on this list, but it's funny how on the PlayStation 2, the most expensive games were all in that survival horror genre. So anyway, based on the people I talked to and the videos I watched online about this game, uh, you, you apparently have to disable traps in order to, I guess, stay alive, and you use something called a horror monitor? I don't know. That's just what I hear about this game. I mean, it sounds kind of interesting. It's got an interesting cover. But the damn game better play great because at a price of $150, it is the third most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. Coming in at number two, we have a game called Cannon Spike. And I cannot believe I have lived as long as I have on this earth and not played or really known about this game. It looks like a running gun shooter, kind of twin stick shooter kind of thing going on. And Capcom and Psycho put this game out. And I know you can play as Capcom characters. I think Mega Man. If you've played Cannon Spike or love it or own it, let me know in the comments down below because I'm pretty intrigued. And actually, a retro store in my area has this game. I don't know how much they want for it, but I'm going to try to get this up off of them. But coming in at a price of $225, my God. Cannon Spike is the second most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. At number one, we have Capcom's Giga Wing 2, a Capcom shoot 'em up made for the Sega Naomi hardware. Now, we did get console ports of Giga Wing 2, both in Japan and here in the US. And I'm sure you can imagine a Japanese copy is going to be 
far less money than a U.S. copy. Maybe they had a bigger print run out there. I don't know. And guys, it's just, maybe it's me, but I feel like Giga Wing 2 is not the best Giga Wing game. Get Giga Wing 1, or if you can play Japanese PS2 games, get Giga Wing Generations on the PS2. I mean, Giga Wing 2 is okay, but it's just not the greatest game. It feels like DLC or add-on content. But coming in at a price of $240, Giga Wing 2 is the most expensive Dreamcast game of 2019. So those are the most expensive Dreamcast games of 2019. Now, I know what some of you were thinking, you know, maybe a Sega Katana dev system or maybe some kind of crazy rare variants worth a ton of money. Like I said, no new copies, no variants, and no imports. So sticking by those guidelines, we're just talking about regular, traditional releases, like none of the NG dev team stuff. We're just talking about stuff that came out at the time of the Dreamcast, you know, during that sixth generation. And, you know, none of the stuff really surprised me on this list, but there is a couple of games that I am interested in. One being Project Justice, another being JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Especially JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, that game looks pretty badass. I mean, both those games look really cool. And there is a store that I know of in my area that does have both of those games. Now, I'm not sure of the prices on those games. Maybe I can work a deal. Maybe I'll go up there with some trade, and maybe you'll see some of these games in my next pickup video. Who knows? Now, I actually do own a couple of games on this list, and those games are... I got a Giga Wing, and I have a Gumbird 2. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting lately. You know, all the kind comments and all the likes on my videos, and, you know, people like CeeLo, you know, that watches every single one of my live streams. That dude is on my streams every single time that I'm online. I really appreciate that type of support, man. I really do. You know, that type of thing makes it worth all the time in the world for me to put together a video or a live stream. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you like awesome video games, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace out.